Guys, this might be the most broken thing in Madden 23. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the D-line Insta Rush user move that you guys have probably seen kind of run rampant in the Madden community as of late. I know people like Mills have played this on Twitch and W made even a YouTube video playing against this. Pretty easy to find. So, you know, I'm kind of posting this for one, you know, if you guys want to get on like those fourth and longs and just want to use a rush, get the sack, you can. Or if this is something you want to do every play with under pressure, feel free to do so. But my main goal is to get this patch because I'm not going to lie, uh, this is pretty overpowered. If you guys have been enjoying my videos, consider subscribing if you haven't already and leaving a like. All right, guys. So if you really want to do this and become a cheeser in the Madden community, I mean, it's pretty OP. You could kind of navigate a scheme around it and I'll hopefully try to do that in this video. But for the most part, I'm going to show you guys the setup and pretty much just how to do it and you know how effective this really is. So I am in practice zone, so keep that in mind. I might try to get in mutt and do it a little bit as well but man in practice when i know 100 the sheds are op and you know you really can do anything you want in practice but i'm here with chris jones who does have under pressure which is gonna make this even more better when you're playing someone who's passing a lot so for this you're gonna want to pretty much just have your left analog kind of down you don't want it all the way down because you're gonna start moving around like this if you're holding this left stick down you're just gonna be moving around the whole play and it's kind of gonna you know ruin your chances i mean you can line up like right here and you see right here i'll be ready to go but for the most part you kind of want to hover your left analog stick kind of like right here i don't know if you guys could see how i'm holding it but i'm not really holding it all the way down i'm kind of holding it you know about halfway down to where, you know, I'll be ready to jump on the snap and, you know, get to the QB as fast as I can. When the QB calls hike, you're gonna wanna flick your analog to the left or the right, and you're gonna get this instant swim move. And from there, you can hold turbo if you want. I mean, I'm sure holding turbo will get you faster sheds and also get to the QB faster, but you're just gonna wanna hold your left stick ever so slightly down. Um, about you know halfway to even like 40% way from there you're gonna want to flick your right stick left or right and I'm gonna do it right here trust me guys I have two controllers so it might not be the best option but you know I'm gonna call hike I have my left stick down all the way I'm gonna call hike and from here we're just gonna get a instant rush and you know I'm sorry if I didn't get you the full results and also I mean Chris Jones is a monster in regs so I'll try to get some mud gameplay with this real soon and maybe even in this video See right here, you're gonna get this damn near A gap. And if you really maximize your coverage and or you know put it under pressure on your DT, you are really gonna wreak havoc for your opponents passing the ball every play. So once more, hold the left stick ever so slightly down and off the snap, you're gonna wanna hold RT and flick your right stick left or right. Obviously this is not 100% of the time, but if you put D-line cams on your guy, it may make it better for you. Double team does not really stop this, but you know, if someone is double teaming, it may take you a few snaps to get used to it because I just kind of went through the double team process and I'm not gonna lie, they kind of have me at first. See right here, they're gonna double team me, but it's not gonna matter because I still get this insta rush move. So what I would suggest for the double team is instead of going towards the double team, I know it's gonna be hard to tell, but right here you see the double team is off the right. I wanna just go inside away from the double team. So obviously if I were to go to right, I probably would've got bagged. Since I went left, I was able to get this instant rush move. So once more, man, if they double team, it still isn't gonna matter. You see right here, I have the double team on Chris Jones. Sometimes they are gonna bag you, trust me. This is not like 100% of the time. The thing is, you know, when you have max coverage and you're sending like maybe three to four people at max, you are going to be able to wreck havoc. See right here, we are going to do the same thing ever so slightly down on the left stick and off rip, we're going to slam our stick to the right and we are going to try to get an insta shed. See right here, we're going to come in free and that was a double team, almost a triple team if you count the running back. And this feature is super broken in Madden 23 right now. If you want to find some cheap stops, if you want to use like Chris Jones and the Chiefs and Regs, I know their defense isn't all that good, but if you could just abuse this and you know how good Chris Jones is with his under pressure, you are going to be able to get some nice fluky stops every single game. And like I said, guys, uh, I know this is really broken and toxic, but my main goal is for this to get patched. So hopefully this video going out helps this feature get patched. We all know how good the D-line moves are. And if you counter that with a blitz, as I'm gonna try to show you guys what you can do right here. See right here, we're gonna double team Chris Jones. And hopefully, I mean, obviously we're on defense. Hopefully this creates someone else to come in free. See right here, <laughs> like I said, man, double team feature. If someone's double teaming you and it's somehow working or someone has some nice pass protection, odds are you're gonna be able to blitz. And see right here, I just called a random dime normal defense. And honestly, this setup kind of looks clean because bro, I double teamed him. I did send out a lot of people um, and I did send like what, five to six people. 
So forgive me on that part, but like you get the you get the point that I'm trying to take across. If you're playing all out coverage and someone's just sending out five with consistency and double teaming your guy and you know just making sure you're not trying to come in, you can set up blitzes and and you know from there it's really gonna mess with your opponent. Play all out max coverage, man to man. We all know know how good man is in this game. You can send blitzes when people try to double team and try different type of protections. And then you can try to send two. I'm gonna try to send two right here, guys, and see if we are able to come home. This is really broken, man. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I haven't played this yet. Fortunately, I might have to duck away from the head-to-head -head streets for a little bit. Man, oh man. I just sent two people. I could probably send one person and come in free. Um, this is really broken. You, you slap on maybe like a double or nothing or under pressure. Maybe inside stuff to stop the run and you are going to be cooking with this D-line user rush. If you want to see some mud gameplay with me being as toxic as I can, hit that like button and comment and I will run this in mud. This is more of an informative video, um, but I'm not going to lie with how effective and OP this looks. I 100% am down and willing to try this in mud for a future video. So appreciate you guys thugging it out to the end. And if you want to see me do this in mud or even regs, hit that like button and comment and I'll definitely do that and be as toxic as I can. I know you guys love the toxicity. Till next time guys, hopefully no one is running this against you because I'm not gonna lie, I don't have any protection versus this yet. Catch you guys in the next video. And this was probably the most broken feature slash glitch in the game, the DT user rush, Insta Shed in Madden 23.